C1. You are listening at FameTV.info. I never thought that one day I would become the king of hell, the first one to break out in cold sweat. That's right, it was that bearded vulgar man from Journey to the West who called himself Great Sage Wukong. Actually, I didn't want to do it, but there was nothing I could do about it. I was forced to do it and they said that if I didn't do it, the world would be destroyed because of me. There was no helping it, I was really being coerced that I in fact, I used to be a financial worker, mainly to absorb idle social funds for commercial investment. My work target is mainly the city high school students, with the family rich, thin body, cowardly four-eyed boys mainly. The working hours were after school. The main place of work was in the woods outside the school. I sincerely and sincerely want to finance them, to take the spare money in their hands, then transfer into the society, so as to invest and promote consumption. The main direction of my investment was in human resources. In short, to find someone worth investing in and living in poverty, that person was me. This is because I knew since I was young that I was not an ordinary person. Even though my current situation is very depressing, there will be a day when I will soar into greatness. At that time, the investment I make will be a hundred times, a thousand times more than what I invest. This point, Uncle Lou and I were thinking the same thing. If you invest in a business, as long as you don't sell arms and white powder, the profit will at most be ten times the profit. But if you invest in a talent, the profit will be a hundred to a thousand times greater that I'm really doing this for their benefit. The sun and moon can be seen for my sincerity. Unfortunately, a lot of people regard me as a loyal donkey. So I was often rejected, and sometimes even beaten up and called to the police. Even some of my best employees have abandoned me. Fortunately, I am a person who strives for the ideal. I have long been accustomed to difficulties. Therefore, when I was once again beaten up by a powerful colleague that my clients had called over, I used to cover my bleeding nose with a snot-covered napkin and continue to strut along the street. Just this morning, my landlord took over my company and home, a small bungalow, under the pretext that I hadn't paid my rent for three months. He even sold my belongings, a few old quilts, wash basins, old clothes, and the like to the rent.filled ones.so, by now, all I have left of me, apart from three dollar pieces of steel, are these tattered t.shirts and jeans that haven't been washed in a month, the sun was high in the sky, and he was thirsty and hungry. Passing by a small shop, I took out a steel coin from my pocket and weighed it in my hand. Perhaps, I would have to start my rebirth from these three steel coins, the layout of the snack bar was the same as everywhere else. There was a large freezer in the street with cold beer in it, ready to be sold at any time, as soon as I entered the shop, I saw a middle-aged shopkeeper with a mottled pug sitting at the counter, watching a soap opera, and she started to smile at me, you've got another scar, this is still a sequel to the excerpt from Kong Yiji. Instead, I said, boss, a beer, for Beijing to be pure, and spread out 3-1. Dollar coins on the refrigerator. This stance and demeanor was truly magnanimous, the middle-aged woman stared at the three metal coins for a long time before gritting her teeth and saying, Beijing $8 per bottle, I immediately softened, then take a bottle of three yuan, the middle-aged woman didn't even look at me. She casually took out a bottle of dark green bottle S from under the counter that I coldly laughed, not minding in the slightest as I picked up the bottle, wiped off the dust on its surface with my hands, and held onto the bottle tightly. Then, I stared at her. Stare at her, the middle-aged woman was scared out of her wits by my stare. She asked in a trembling voice, you. Buy wine. Not leaving, thinking. What is it? With a cold expression, I slowly replied, let me borrow the corkscrew. Ignoring the murderous gaze of the middle-aged woman, I calmly opened the bottle cap and looked inside. Damn it, there isn't even a, thank you for your patronage. However, looking at how the middle. Aged woman looked, I knew that I had already reached the top. Thus, I looked at her with disdain before turning around and giving her a cool profile as I raised my head to drink a mouthful of beer. Pooh, I almost vomited. Luckily, 
my self-control was high enough, so I forcefully swallowed it down. What kind of strange smell was this that I looked down at the label on the bottle? Damn, there are three big words written on it, Waha. Nimla ha, are you still offering beer? No, I'm going to faint. It's a, Waha, that I turned around and saw the middle dot aged woman with narrowed eyes looking at me with a cold smile. Suddenly, my anger flared up, and I was filled with hatred. He reached out his hand and was about to throw the beer bottle onto the ground. Wait a minute, looking at her calm and composed appearance, could it be a trap? The more I thought about it, the more it seemed possible, this middle dot aged woman's thoughts are truly malicious. She actually wants me to destroy the result that I bought with the last three pieces of money. Humph, if you want to fight me, I won't let you do so. I raised my head, took a big gulp, then turned around and left under the grandma's surprised gaze, just as he walked out of the door, he met a person. This person was fat, wearing a high school uniform. He carried a school bag on his back, and his face was flushed red. I stopped and looked at him coldly. You still have the face to come and see me. Yes, he was one of the four people I worked for. I heard they went to the financial district outside another school and went to a different school. Otaku, the fatty didn't care about the look in my eyes, this is the last time I'll help you. Today, when I saw Sun Lauer wanting to buy his store, I knew that he still owed you $200 from playing Mahjong last time, so I came over to inform you. With that, he turned around and left. At this moment, my eyes are already moist. As expected, we are brothers. Even if we were poached by another company, we wouldn't forget our brotherhood that he took two steps and suddenly stopped. I was overjoyed. Perhaps it was my sincerity that moved him. The fatty turned around and looked me in the eye, Otaku, you really aren't suitable to do this job. How can a 20.4-year-old person who charges a protection fee at the entrance of a high school and gets beaten up from time to time have any future prospects? My name is Jai Nan, and I'm nicknamed Otaku. I don't know when, but my name suddenly became a state of life. It was a state of life that I was very envious of. Unfortunately, I didn't have the capital, I had no parents, and I was just a lowly hoodlum who earned a living by collecting protection fees. After the fat guy left, my confidence dropped to the bottom of the ravine. I sat on the curb, lit the last soft red river in my pocket, and drank a gulp of Waha beer from the soft red river. The taste was both strong and strange. After drinking it, he would burp continuously. Waves of acid would gush out, as if he was not drinking beer, but rather soda water with excrement mixed in it, however, this wine has an aftereffect. After the last drop, I was already numb to it. Elder Fong, Tang Yi, Li Guang, I can't seal it. At this moment, I hate the lack of windows in the sky, and I hate the lack of rings in the earth. I stood on the street corner, grabbed the empty bottle, and roared towards the sky, Sun Laur, return the money to me, Sun Laur, his real name was unknown, his age was unknown, his appearance was indecent, and he was acting frivolous. Business Premises, Address Fangiewan Antiques Market, Store Name All counterfeit antiques jade shop. As the name implied, this fellow's shop was full of all kinds of imitation ancient jade artifacts. Moreover, they were all crude, low.end goods. Even a fool could tell that they were fake. I've played mahjong in his shop for almost ten years, but I've never seen him open a mahjong before, and I don't know what made this guy survive. As for the $200, it was also what I had won after playing Mahjong for nearly 10 years. In terms of playing Mahjong, he compared me to him and confirmed a certain advertisement passage. There is no worst, only worse. My eyes were bloodshot and I held a Waha beer bottle as I strode into the Fangiewan market. Sun Lauer's shop was in the innermost area of the market close to a public restroom. Borrowing the liquor power, I walked to the entrance of the shop. As a person, I should be a bit more ruthless towards others, and as a hoodlum, I have to be a bit more ruthless. 
Today, I'm here to collect debts. Point two strong men wearing black suits and sunglasses stood in front of the store. A BMW 760 was parked in front of the entrance. He didn't expect the buyer to have quite the background. Right now, I don't care about all that. Carrying the bottle, I rushed in. The two men in suits stretched out their hands to stop me. It's not good. I wouldn't dare to act so impudently in front of these two burly men, but I don't know why, maybe because of the alcohol, but before that person could finish his words, I swung the bottle at them from left and right without a second thought, the bottle landed on their heads. It did not shatter and felt soft. Looking at the two again, they were already some distance away. One of them fell right in front of the toilet's door. One of them was even more exaggerated, jumping over the BMW and landing on the other side that I looked at the bottle in shock. I didn't expect that after finishing the wine, I would be so amazing. How is this a beer bottle? This is simply Li Yuanba's 800 Jean Sledgehammer. Hadian Silver Spear's little overlord chased me far short. But there was no time to dig any deeper. Through the glass doors covered with small advertisements, I could see that Sun Lauer, who was even more unkempt than I was, was handing something similar to a contract to a middle-aged man in a suit with his hair waxed and shiny that I couldn't let him sign it. That was the only thought in my mind. With my understanding of Sun Lauer, he definitely won't return the money, even if he has money, he won't return it to me. I want to go in and get enough for 200 yuan first. As long as this guy signs his name, all the items in the store will belong to that pretentious guy. It would be illegal for me to take any more, thinking of this, I kicked the door open with my foot and rushed inside, the two men in the shop looked at me with wide eyes. I didn't talk to them and rushed in front of the middle dot aged man, grabbing the contract in my hand. As expected, the signature of the Sun Lauer had already been signed that I tucked the bottle under my armpits, picked up the pen on the table and wrote my name down. Afterwards, I threw down the brush in my hands and smiled complacently at the two of them who were dumbfounded. I smiled complacently to see if the red dust man was old or not. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.